we're here at the MTC in Coventry at the Polyworks UK event and we're going to find out some of the new technologies and innovations and why metrology should not be overlooked. So Nick, you're back after four years, what's yeah. it like? Yeah, brilliant. Um, can't wait to see who turns up today. Like you just said, four years ago we were last here. It's been a crazy few years. Um, yeah, really excited, really excited. So what are you expecting from this event? People. <laughs> I think everybody's fed up with teams and things like that. It's nice to be back after four years and do an in-person event, see the old faces again, the hardware vendors, the customers, basically bring everybody back together. And do you think it's going to be nice, like you said, to have everybody back together and not all just staring at computer screens? I hope so. I'll be doing a poll today to see uh, what people think. Do they want to do teams still or are they more than happy to have the in-person events? So we'll see later on today. So last question. Are you looking forward to it? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm here on the T3D MC stand with Adam and we're going to talk about something you may not have seen before. So to start, Adam, why have you come to this event? So we're here at the event today for three real reasons. There's one to talk about portable metrology solutions, um, talk about the integration into Polyworks for that because it's an exciting step into uh, a full solution for automated inspection, uh, which then takes us into the final piece here behind you, which is our Nexus driven, uh, which is by 11 Dynamics, which is a completely modular automated solution that we've also been able to integrate into Polyworks for a complete turnkey solution for automated inspection, taking complex inspection right down to operator level. So let's go through them three parts. I think that would be the best reason. So yeah. the first one, what are you wearing? Yeah, what am I wearing? <laughs> I feel like I'm at the Oscars. Um, so what I'm wearing here is the Ergo system from Scantech. So Scantech are, uh, are well known for uh, rapid R&D for the metrology space for uh, 3D laser scanning. What they like to do is push the envelope even more by trying to figure out how they can uh, how they can provide more for a customer base based on feedback that people want. Number one thing is can we lose the cables? It's very difficult to lose cables when it comes to the amount of data that's captured by one of these systems. So the next best thing is to build a dedicated Wi-Fi system, which is what Scantech have done, which is what I'm wearing on the belt here. Uh, that allows me to have a 100 meter travel for any scanning uh, project that I'm working on and deliver that data back to the dedicated software to crunch the numbers. But I can do the visualization of what's going on from a tablet or from a phone or from another screen that is connected to uh, the dedicated Wi-Fi network. So it, it is completely remote, but it gives me freedom with a system that's already the smallest system in the world anyway for a laser scanner. But I can increase my flexibility with that system by adding it with the, the Ergo system. Great thing about this kit, it works with all of their, um, all of their range of uh, systems as well. So it's one system for, for all of them. Now, that was a great explanation and thank you for that. So number two is the Polyworks integration. Yes. So this is, we're really excited by this because we've worked with a variety of inspection softwares over our 10 years uh, as a 3D measurement company. But Polyworks is exciting because it allows you to use lots of different technologies in the same space. So you can get a control over your inspection process. And that means using a 3D scanner where you need to. But if you need to integrate a probe, you can do. If you want to integrate it into automation, you can do. It's all in a common space, common reporting. It can be rolled out to an entire company base. So there's a lot of control there. And there's a lot of flexibility with how you create uh, inspection from de uh, detailed data. So what we're, what we're building here is we're putting, to, we're putting together the blocks to make a really robust inspection software, uh, sorry, ins inspection package. And it's the Polyworks part is critical to that inspection side because it integrates directly into the ScanViewer software or the Nexus software. And it, that's, the, that's the key bit to simplifying it really because we're able to move from that measurement space into a parametric inspection space with very little, very little input from the user. Thank you again, you've gone into so much detail. So if we just move this way ever so slightly, so number three, and I'm gonna let you introduce it. Yes, so this is the AM desk from Scantech, um, but 
the really important thing here is driven by the Nexus 4.0 software, which is a software de developed by Eleven Dynamics. So they're a market leader, uh, a very aggressive tech company which have emerged over the last two years. A really exciting space where you can modularize automated um, setups. So they're driving towards Smart Factory, but right now they're really in the measurement space, which is great for us. They've worked with Polyworks um, at a development level so that now we've got Polyworks as a direct export from a automated solution. So we can pr program offline before we've ever seen a part, before we've ever spent a penny on hardware. We can program offline, understand how long a measurement task might take using a Scantech system or it could be a, another type of technology if you're using a different technology. But that then allows us to even run a full inspection report and understand really the life cycle of, of an inspection task, understand how long it's going to take, and simp again, simplify that process. Make the, the technical side um, not so technical, basically. Make it operator level, because that's what we want to get to. I've always said no one scans something for the, for the purpose of scanning it. It's what you do with the data. Polyworks allows us to get understanding of our results. It allows us to spot trends early. Uh, and it makes us, uh, it gives us the, uh, the ability to make more informed decisions earlier on in a process to save our customers money when it comes to scrap parts or rework, reworking tooling. It all comes from uh, 3D data. And what we have here through, through the Nexus software from Eleven Dynamics is the ability to bring lots of very powerful things together in a bespoke way that's modularized so it controls cost and is very easy to implement. Well, Adam. Again, thank you very much and, and thank you for talking to us. Hey, thanks for your time. I appreciate you coming over. It's uh, been great to catch up with you. Thank you. Cheers. So, Simon, why have you come to this event today? So, we're trying to showcase the products we believe should be leading the industry. So, we try and specialize our products in automation and software development. So, we feel like there's a big skills gap in the market currently, and we're trying to fill the gap with automated inspection and metrology. So what are you actually showcasing today? So here we've got our software which is triggering the automation between the robot and the product. So we're a hardware neutral company but we've developed a software solution to meet the marketing and the leading industry skills gap. So what we're doing is we're plugging the gap where you need to have people on the shop floor doing metrology manually and we're also increasing the accuracy tolerances for the aerospace industry. So what sets you apart from others here today? So because we are automating the whole metrology process from start to finish, it allows us to free up that skill shortage gap and put the software onto the platform to run the business in the industry four standard. So what we're doing is we are um, automatically scanning and inspecting and doing the reporting all the way through the supply chain, increasing the tolerances through the build-up process. Well. Simon, thank you very much. No worries, thank you very much. So, what's the reason you come today? Uh, I've came to try and see what other people are how, um, using Polyworks and how they're integrating it, and um, to see what future things are being implemented with Polyworks. So, how do you use Polyworks at the moment, or what do you use it for? Uh, so, we use it for all of our portable um, CMMs, plus some of our um, gantry CMMs as well. Um, we've been using it quite a while now, but we've gone for quite a um, long-term integration with the tool so far. Um, we're just trying to see what we can do in creating uh, a better ecosphere with our metrology tools. So I am now at the Faro stand with Peter. And Peter, what are you showcasing today? Hi Tom, so yeah, we've got a number of products. We've mainly got our, our Faro arm, so our latest edition, the Quantum S Max, and then we've got the Vantage uh, S6 Max tracker as well. So the, uh, the Quantum Max has got the eight axis rotary table, which enables us to do 40 times quicker scanning. Doesn't need any spots or anything. We can just, uh, just scan and rotate at the same time. So how does that help people in the industry? So it improves the accuracy and improves the speed. So by having it on the rotary table like this, um, as I rotate it, I'm not using all the encoders within the arm. So normally you'd be moving the arm around to try and get around the component. By using the rotary table, we can keep the, car, the arm fairly static as I rotate, and I'm only using one encoder rather than the full accuracy of the arm. So it improves the accuracy whilst we uh, improve the speed as well. So is that the main 
reason that sets you apart from the competition? Uh, that's one of our main, yeah, that's one of our, our main uh, differentiators, yes. Um, we've also now got on the end here, so we do have three different laser line probes and all our probes are kinematic, so we can take out our hard probe and we can take out our laser line probe and we can switch positions and then we can take the handle off there as well and that gives us a, a solution which means we can get into much tighter spaces and around much sort of more complex shapes with that. So essentially you've seen the demand and the struggles of the market and got a solution for it? Exactly that, exactly that, yeah. So one of the things people kept asking to get rid of the, uh, the handle on the, uh, on the arm, so we've managed to do that with this, uh, this, this uh, edition. Well, Peter, thank you, and thank you for showing us around your stand today. All right, no problem at all. Thanks, Tom. Andy, why have you come today? Um, we normally come every year. Every year it's been on anyway. Um, it's very, very beneficial for us at JLR, as we use the software, have used it for many, many years. And it's just great to see what new innovations are coming out from the company. So have you learned anything today or have you got anything you're going to take back to JLR? Yeah, lots, lots and lots. Um, it's nice to see how other companies use the software and use it quite differently. Um, and it's just yeah, little pointers here and there. It's good. It's, we can take it back and we can teach other guys. So you say you come every year or, or every time it's on. Yeah. Will that, con will that continue going forward? Yes, definitely. I think it's really, really good to see people face to face. It's far more engaging. Um, you know, one of my colleagues earlier said, you know, when you're doing it on Teams, if you get a phone call you know, from your boss or something like that, you kind of switch off and then it's difficult to get back into it. So it's really, really good to see people. Well, Andy, thank you very much and thank you for your time. Thank you. I'm on the LK Metrology stand with Steve and we're going to find out a bit more about their products. So, Steve, what do you do at LK Metrology? So basically LK Metrology were the oldest uh, UK brand of CMMs. So back in 1963 we, we incorporated ourselves and we invented the first type of bridge CMM. Now obviously bridge CMMs are used extensively throughout all the different types of industry. And late, later on we've obviously in, included lots of other different sensors. So we've got probing, we've got probing scanning, and now we've got non-contact scanning, surface finish, all of these sorts of things. So quite a raft of different things we can do with a universal measuring machine. We've also got a a range of portable measuring machines as well um, that offer non-contact uh, scanning as well so um, so we do portable and we do static and if you look at the video behind us we've got a, lo a Lotus video where it's the pinnacle of our CMMs where effectively we've got automation with laser scanning for inline measurement for Lotus and uh, effectively this is you know, gathering lots of data very quickly within the tack time of their production cell. So is it just the automotive industry that LK Metrology are in? Well, to be fair, anybody who manufactures and have got close tolerances typically need to have coordinate measure machines. We typically say to customers, that ultimately, if you've got a tolerance of, say, 0.1 of a millimetre, then ultimately you need to be measuring it with, with something that's 10 times more accurate. So obviously you'd need something that's 0.1 of a, of a millimetre in terms of accuracy. Uh, you'd need uh, 10 microns. Now also you might have a 20 micron tolerance and then you need a 2 micron machine. So we cover the full range of that. So you do like you said, highly, highly accurate machines. Mm -hmm. So how does Polyworks fit into all this? So basically Polyworks is a really good user interface for if you've got a customer that's got not just a CMM, maybe they've got a laser tracker, maybe they've got a portable arm with scanning, but ultimately they may have a small team and they want to have flexibility where one operator can go one machine to the next to the next. And also the same part program could be measured with different devices. So for us Polyworks is a good fit because that obviously means that the doors are open to customers who've got other hardware and obviously they're looking at a CMM so that means that we can go in and we can supply them a turnkey solution and ultimately uh, it means they're working on the same software platform. So I am here on the MSL standard with Connor and we're going to look at something that's quite interesting. So Connor, first of all, what is it? So this is our Creaform measurement system. So it's a probing and scanning, 3D, 3D scanning system. So you can take direct um, tactile measurements with our probe as well as non-contact um, scanning points with our with our 3d scanner so how does this help your customers so i mean speed uh, accuracy uh, portability so we have 30 lasers coming out of our scanner uh, and you'll see in a few minutes how fast that will pick up your part so whether it's shiny metallics uh, carbon fiber gloss parts traditional parts that would have 
been a real struggle for 3D scanners, this will now eat up. So why have you brought this piece of equipment to, to, to today's event? So this plugs straight into Polyworks. So the probe and scanner uh, can be run directly through Polyworks um, so that all of the Polyworks customers, no matter if they're using CMMs, arms, they can use the same programs with our equipment. So Mick, why did you come today? Uh, I've come today to uh, discuss a few things on some hardware and uh, software with Polyworks. Um, information gathering exercise really. So have you learned something today? Has I've it been learned, a good day? It's been a good day for me because I've, uh, I've learned something new. Yeah, yeah I've, I've discovered something uh, interesting that we can use uh, going forward with our, a project that we're working on. So it's been beneficial and you'll be coming back next time? Oh, I'll definitely be coming back next time. It's always, it's always a good event. I always enjoy it. So Lucy, we're here at the Polyworks event. So why have you come in the first place? So we use uh, Polyworks as our predominant software that we use with all our hardware. So across the product range, we, we use Polyworks. So we got invited, uh, yeah, and it's good to see all the other suppliers who use Polyworks as well. So you say you use Polyworks across all your products, but what are your products? So the products that we've got here today, so there's both me and Callum. I cover laser radar and Callum covers the laser scanning side of stuff. So. Callum's doing the, the small volume and I'm doing the large volume. So anything for automotive, aerospace, things where you need high speed accuracy uh, and large volume really with the laser radar. So what sets you apart from others on the market? Um, I would say speed of measurement so uh, and the automation that you can use with it. So there's no manual intervention. So for parts that are hard to reach, parts that are potentially dangerous, you know, if you've got moving lines in production, you can have it sat there. Um, yeah, I'd say that's what set, sets our products apart, really. So, Nick, the day is almost over. <laughs> How's it been? Fantastic. Uh, the unanimous decision, uh, the unanimous, unanimous vote was face-to-face -face meetings. Everybody's had enough of teams. Uh, there's been a general excitement. The vendors have said they've had good feedback. The customers have been happy. I couldn't ask for more. See, it's great because, like we were saying before, we're a bit worried about numbers, but it's been rammed. Yeah, we've had a really good footfall. Uh, couldn't ask for better. Um, obviously, like anything, next year, we want bigger and better again. So please, if anybody hears about it, come along and see the guys. And then we've heard from three um, customers who have come that they've learned so much, and it's just been great to get away from the computer screens. And one of the guys was saying that, he was on a team's call, his boss rung, and then he was completely out of it. So he come, he came here, his phone's on silent, and that's it, he's off the grid. Exactly, you know, it, like I said, couldn't ask for more. The feedback's been exceptional, it really has. And uh, yeah, let's hope this is the end of all the team's calls. <laughs> one last question, yep. are you looking forward to the next one? Yes, definitely. So please, the more the merrier, everybody come along. It'll be good to see you here.